34-year-old Kimberly Langwell went missing in July of 1999 and was feared to have been in danger. In 2003, Texas EquiSearch searched for Kimberly to no avail. Sadly, for 25 years, Kimberly remained missing and her family longed for answers. Until now. A major development in a missing persons case KFDM has reported on for a quarter century. Beaumont police tonight armed with a search warrant looking for Kimberly Langwell. She vanished in July 1999. Her disappearance, the focus of dozens of stories and Crime Stoppers reports seeking closure for her family. Investigators searching a number of locations over the years, never finding her body. They did find Langwell's car July 9th, 1999 in the parking lot of the shopping center at Dallin and Phelan near what was then the Eckwards drug store. Her purse and keys still inside the car at the Eckerd's. She was supposed to meet her daughter later for dinner. She never showed up. Many in the community holding vigils at that shopping center over the years, handing out flyers, seeking any information about the missing 34-year-old mother. In April, the Oxygen Network program Cold Justice focused on this case, talking with Terry Rose, her former boyfriend, at his property on Lindbergh between Washington and College. Police obtained a sealed search warrant for that property signed by Judge John Stevens. And this morning, they began looking for Langwell, along with other agencies. KFDM 6 News is live. Mellow Styles on scene at Rose's property, where police plan to look inside and out for any sign or evidence of Langwell. Mello, what's going on right now? That's right, Aaron. Not really much going on here as maybe it was a few hours ago, but let me kind of walk you through what today has been. We know that they began this search around 8 this morning. We were told about this around noon today. That's when my, myself and my photographer came out here, and it was a lot more active. There were detectives out here, and you kind of where we're standing right now, you could even walk down here earlier today. But now, as you can see, the scene is a lot more quieter. We've seen an ATV maybe about 30, 35 minutes ago ahead to the back of the property. But like I said, it's not really much going on right now as they continue the search for Kim Langwell. Now, police have been working to find what happened to Kim Langwell, and they believe that there could be evidence to assist in their investigation, not just at this residence on Lindbergh Drive, but even in the nearby property. Police say that they will continue searching the wide area until they find what happened to Kim Langwell. And Aaron, like you said, that there was that series or that documentary on Oxygen True Crimes, and that kind of described kind of what happened on the day of Kim Langwell back in 1999 and how she was last seen by her boyfriend, Terry Rose, that day at this home right behind me. And like I said, that, like you said, that search warrant was sealed and that will be sealed for at least 30 days. And we will continue to update you all on how this story develops, if they find anything here in the search for Kim Langwell. Breaking right now, our first look at the mugshot of Terry Rose. Police releasing the photo in the past hour taken at BPD headquarters. Rose held without bond until his arraignment tomorrow on a murder charge of murdering Kimberly Langwell in 1999. Not long after that photo there at BPD, officers led Terry Rose in handcuffs down the stairs at the police department headquarters downtown. His ride to the Jefferson County Correctional Facility. KFDM had plenty of questions, but Rose had nothing to say to us tonight, passing up on his opportunity to give his version of events and his side of the story. The late breaking, fast moving developments in a 25 year old case unfolding all in a matter of hours. KFDM's Aaron Mack covering the story for us all day long tonight. He joins us live from Beaumont Police Headquarters. And Aaron, you had a chance to ask Terry Rose about his arrest. Aaron, Kimberly, you're right, I did. Now, we're standing outside and in, 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 outside the front of the Beaumont police station, police station right now, and it's quiet now, but earlier when we did see him walk out, we had a chance to ask Terry Rose a few questions, and this is what he had to say. Terry Rose, you're being charged with the murder of Kimberly Langwell. Do you have anything to say? Terry, tell us what happened in 1999. This could be your only chance to tell the public right now, right here. Do you have anything to say to Kimberly's family? Did you do it? Now, police drove the 67-year-old suspect to jail, and he's being held without bond until his arraignment in the morning. 
Rose was Langwell's former boyfriend, and before she disappeared July 9th of 1999, Langwell said she was going to his home to help with the project. She was never seen after that, and Rose has always since denied any involvement in her disappearance. The Oxygen Show Cold Justice aired a segment about the Langwell case in April, and based on the evidence, the DA's office impaneled a grand jury, and Judge John Stevens signed a search warrant less than a week ago. Now, the search began Monday at Rose's home on Lindbergh and surrounding property. Today, the FBI had crews, city crews digging up the sidewalk in front of Rose's home. And late this afternoon, we saw a flurry of activity, which FBI agents, Beaumont police, Texas EquiSearch, all on site gathering evidence. And I had a chance to speak with Officer Carol Riley earlier, who worked on this case since day one. And she says cases like these are the ones police really want to solve. And sometimes it takes years and you just want to get that closure for the family. We want those answers for everyone. We, we don't sleep well at night when we know there's a child wondering where their mom is or their dad or, you know, a best friend that lost someone that might as well have been family to them. So, yes, th we take these cases personal. And Aaron, Kimberly, earlier when we were doing the perp walk, we saw a family off in the distance, which what we believe was Kimberly Langwell's family. And at the end, once he got sent off, Beaumont police and everybody came up to him and were hugging and, and talking. And they seemed jubilated that it seems like they finally got justice. And like I said, this is big for not only Beaumont police, but for those officers who've been here for years, such as Carol Riley herself, she's been here for over 32 years and she's worked this case since that day in 1999. And speaking to her earlier, you know, she's getting closer towards the end of her career than the beginning of it. And so closing this case was something big, not only for the city of Beaumont's police department, but Langwell's family and getting that closure and final piece of justice. Reporting live in Beaumont, Aaron Mack, KFDM 6 News. Aaron, thank you. And tonight's development has been, of course, years in the making. 25 years next month. In fact, the date, July 9th, 1999. It was 5.30 p.m. Lingwell called her then teenage daughter about dinner plans they were supposed to have. Then at 6.30, Lingwell was supposed to be home after stopping by the home of her ex-boyfriend. The ex-boyfriend, Terry Rose. Lingwell never made it. Finally, that night, 1030 in Beaumont, Langwell's 1994 Nissan Altima was found abandoned right in front of the then Ecker Drugs at Dallin and Phelan. That was 1999. You can do the math. We did it tonight. 9,106 days later, after 9,106 days and nights of freedom, Terry Rose will spend his first night in the Jefferson County Jail accused of murder. This case and video from our KFDM 6 News archives has uh, captivated the public's interest ever since Kimberly Langwell vanished without a trace. Over the years, Beaumont police investigated a slew of leads. Other persons of interest were questioned and they all had alibis. In the end, the prime suspect turned out to be Terry Rose. It just took almost a quarter of a century to find Kimberly Langwell's possible remains, police say, right on Rose's property. Langwell would have been 59 years old if she were alive today.